What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and when DC Comics decided to sacrifice Superman, the most iconic superhero of all time, at the altar of woke identity politics, you knew that there was going to be a lot of backlash. You knew that people were going to have a problem with destroying a character like Superman by plastering him all over on the hashtag coming out day in order to virtue signal and show him kissing a pink haired freak. You knew that there was going to be backlash to this. There definitively was. But the purpose, the reason for this, not only is to hop on top of a hashtag, try to convince the blue check marks and the woke brigade to maybe buy your book, which they will not do, but it's also a form of activism. And that's the entirety of the mainstream comic book industry right now. It is full of activists. And what do they do in their comic books? Well, they make the heroes activists themselves. And you can see here, this is the cover of, uh, let's see, Superman, Son of Kal-El, featuring John Kent as Superman, uh, number five. Well, number seven, we continue to dig down and uh, embarrass the character of Superman. Tom Taylor, once again, our Superman joins other heroes on the cover of Superman, Son of Kal-El, number seven, out in January. And you have John Kent's Superman, School strike for climate. Maybe you're about, you know, 20 years late hopping on this trend right here. But uh, nonetheless, you have John Kent and his, again, pink-haired weirdo boyfriend, Jay Nakamura, who's also a hacktivist, a hacker activist reporter who loves Lois Lane and uh, wants to fuck John Kent in the butt, evidently, as well as a bunch of other people. Climate justice climate justice there's no planet b it's just it is so absolutely cringe and one of the more insidious things about this entire situation when you look at what is being done to the comic book industry is the fact that these people are trying to put themselves in these books we see these self inserts time and time again and even when they're not strictly putting themselves like the way that they look or the way that they are sexual like their sexual preference They'll put the way that they think, but also the way that they think superheroes should think. Because what they're trying to do is say that, look, Superman is an activist. Superman's an SJW. How many times have you heard that? Oh yeah, Captain America, of course. Captain America loves to fight for social justice. Captain America is woke. Captain America is an SJW. Yes, of course he is. Because they want to put themselves into these characters. It's not about telling a good story anymore. And as a couple people pointed out in the replies or in the quote tree tweets, look what Steph said. I guess he's just following Barbara Gordon's lead. Superheroes now participate in protests. And of course, this is from the this is from the Batgirl comic where she's down with Antifa protesting with Antifa. Because that is who these people are. They are Antifa. They are activists. They are these woke, far-left lunatics. And they want to make every superhero exactly like them because they believe they are superheroes. They think that what they are doing is actually heroic. That's how delusional some of these people are. But some of the reports on this are, are laughable. Superman's next big fight is against climate change. The Man of Steel is about to take on a real-life problem that impacts everyone on Earth as DC's new Superman will fight climate change head-on. In a new preview for the upcoming Superman Son of Kal-El, John Kent will join the likes of Jackson Hyde and his boyfriend, Jay Nakamura, to protest climate change. John Kent had quite an eventful month as he just became the new Superman after his father left Earth. As he tries to navigate in a world without his dad and his replacement to the world's greatest hero, John will also develop a new romance with his friend, Jay Nakamura. Earlier this week, DC Comics confirmed John Kent is bisexual. And again, uh, I'm just going to pull this up so it's seared into every person's mind. I, want, I do want to say thank you to Tom Taylor and thank you to DC Comics for providing me a lot of thumbnail material with this one shot right here. So thank you very much. I do appreciate that. The news made international headlines with most reactions being overwhelmingly positive. Do you really think that's the case? Do you really think that that's the case? Now, think if you can trust this source, Liam McGuire, with what he's about to say. 
However, it drew laughable criticism from former Superman, Dean Kane. So, of course, immediately you understand where this person's coming from. One person that I, I talked about criticized, it was laughable that Dean Kane would say anything. Dean Kane, who played fucking Superman, criticized it. And what did Dean Cain say? Woke Superman's mission is neither bold nor brave from Dean Cain. I say they're jumping on the bandwagon, but they're fighting the wrong issues. There's a clear agenda here. It's globalist, it's anti-America, but it's not bold and it's not brave. This paragraph here, I think, is uh, incredibly well stated and points out why losers, like the person who wrote this article, are a joke. Brave would have been to do this 30 years ago or to depict Superman or John Kent fighting for the rights of LGBT people in Iran where they'll throw you off a building for the offense of even being suspected of homosexuality. Why doesn't Superman fight injustices that created refugees whose deportation he's protesting? Digging deep into those issues, that would have been brave. That would have been informative. I read that comic book. Bold would be fighting for the rights of Afghan women to attend schools. Right? Things like this. But no, that's not what DC Comics is about. They would never make a comic about that because that's not the right kind of statement. They'd rather have this. They'd rather have gay Superman protesting climate change, walking with a, a couple other freaks and protesting climate change. I wonder how many uh, homosexuals were thrown off roofs in Iran while Superman was protesting climate change. You just have to ask yourself those questions. And of course, Tom Taylor can't take any criticism. All right, look at Carrie Smith. Three minutes and Tom Taylor blocked me. Woke ideology is, is cult-like in many ways. One way, it encourages you to create an echo chamber around yourself if only people who, of only people who agree with you. This means you become more isolated, more fragile, and unable to confidently defend your ideas. This is all Carrie Smith said. Who wants this? Blocked. Immediately. Not the only person. That Star Wars girl got blocked very quickly. I went and I looked Tom Taylor blocked. There's a lot of people that are blocked by this dude. And it's not just people on quote unquote our side. Look at this response to IGN. As someone who's bisexual, I don't like it when comics do this. It seems lazy and they don't want to make actual LGBT characters. And it's not like we don't have examples, any examples like Constantine, Batwoman, and some others. This person replies, don't say that to Tom Taylor. He'll block you. Yes, this is real. This is what he blocked me for. I called him a lazy writer who couldn't come up with an individual character who happened to be bi or gay. Gay characters are completely perfect in any universe. He's just a lazy writer. Tom Taylor seems very sensitive. Uh, I guess not surprised that a dude would be that bitch made and that sensitive when these are the types of stories he's telling. Superman protesting climate change and kissing pink haired freaks after he made him love dudes. This is DC Comics now. Uh, climate change protests, kissing pink haired dudes, no focus on story whatsoever. It's only about activism, both on the page and off. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. I'll talk to you guys later.